All right, well, we're back to it on jack stands. Uh, I got my hands on a GoPro, trying it out, see if I want to buy one. Uh, but took it for a road test yesterday, just kind of cruising around, playing with the GoPro, uh, and under load, it was breaking up a little bit. And this side, this bank, the headers are, I mean, like extremely hot over here to the point where I think this bank is running lean. Um, you know, I did put these braided fuel lines on. I cleaned them out, you know, when I cut the hose. Maybe I missed a spot. Maybe I clogged an injector. Um, what I'm going to do is swap the O2 sensor to this side. Um to monitor this bank to see if that, if it is running lean. Um, the only thing I can tell is, you know, this, this side feels way hotter, the exhaust, than this side. And it's kind of breaking up as, uh, if I kind of get into it a little bit. Um, and it's progressively getting worse. Um, I've driven it. It's been a while since my last video. Um, I've been working on the kind of overview of what I did, why I did it, how I did it, what pens. Um, you know, removing all this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna flop, flip flop the O2 to the other side to see. Um, if it's getting lean and I have to trace that down. But other than that, the first couple of weeks driving it to and from work every couple, you know, twice a week, once a week, sometimes on the weekends. Um, it's been amazing. So I really don't think it's anything with the install um, or computer or learning or something. It's something that's developed that's new. So, um, you know, 25 year old car, which hurts me to say that. <laughs> Makes me feel old. Um, there's going to be little, little, little issues. So anyway, I'm just switching the O2 sensor to the, from this bank to that bank. All right. So I swapped the O2 to this bank and it is not running any leaner. It's the same, same on both sides. So I'm going to take it for another spin. So it's been a couple days. I'm not sure exactly where I left off, um, but it, I've narrowed it down. It's basically temperature detonation when the, you know, when it gets operating temp, it detonates when you, you know, full throttle, first and second gear. Uh, if you put it, like, under load in third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, it doesn't do it. Um, but first and second gear, it's, I mean, first gear, it's almost like it's hitting the rev limiter um, around 4,000. And then uh, second gear is just classic detonation sound. So I verify the timing, uh, just like in the instructions for the dual sync, it was, like, dead on. I didn't even have to change any uh, delay time or whatever that setting is. Um, didn't have to do that. Um, but it is super hot under the hood. Like, if you grow, grab the prop rod, it's like almost burns your hand after you drive it for a little while. Um, so I did a little looking on the internet, and that's apparently a thing on the SN95 is under hood temps are pretty high. Um, this being a Cobra, I think, you know, these vents are open. Excuse the light. These vents are open, and I think like on GTs and stuff, that hole's not open, but I don't, I mean, it's not enough um, to get the heat out from under the hood. So I'm not sure if it's just too hot or there's carbon buildup in the heads. Um, you know, it could be a number of things. I'm going to verify, verify the MSD box is okay, um, just because it does feel like it's hitting the rev limiter a little bit. Um, I'm going to try to richen the fuel load up, or, or, or the AFR up a little bit, see if that takes care of it. I did take a bunch of timing out of it. It was 31 degrees, um, like full throttle. Um, so it was 31 degrees before top dead center. So I backed it down to like 28 and then 26, and it really it did not make a difference. Um, you know, at all. So it was still pinging pretty bad. Um... And it just kind of came out of the blue. Like, I'd been driving it for 
off, you know, a couple times a week for a month, maybe three weeks at least. Um, and it was doing great. Um, and all of a sudden it started detonating a little bit and somebody was riding with me at the time and they heard it. I didn't even hear it at that point. Uh, and then the next day it just got worse. Um, I actually had a bar to GoPro to play with it and try to get some footage and, uh, well, Rowdy's not, not cooperating. Um, so again, I don't think it's the Terminator uh, install or anything. That's, that's been in there a while now, and it's been flawless, phenomenal. It's just more or less the tune, maybe. Um, so i got a couple things I want to try. This is just a quick update. Um, still working on the big video. Um, but in the meantime, I'm trying to get this detonation solved. Um, the only other thing I can think too is the on the SN95 the intake air temp is way out here and it's yeah you know, it's super hot, um, so I'm not sure if it's giving me an accurate reading or not. But there's a few things I got to look into. Um, I'm gonna start take a little more time and out of it, make it a little richer, um, and verify the MSD box isn't failing on me or something silly. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now.